Well, the Missouri Constitution had to come from somewhere, it didn't just fall from the sky. And here to talk about the local Springfield connection that we have with the Missouri Constitution is Drury University professor, political science professor, and head of the L.E. Metter Center, Dan Ponder. Dan, thanks for being here. Thank you. Now, I was amazed when you talked about this right. because Metter actually is the guy responsible for coming up with the most current Constitution right. for the state. Right. What happened was that there was a, de a decision to revise the Constitution. And I guess we um, should back up because a lot of sure. people, like they, they study in school, you know, we have the, the US, U.S. Constitution right. and we have the states that form the federal government and each state has a constitution. But as far as I understand it, all 50 states have since replaced those original constitutions from the late 18th right. century with something more modern, including Missouri. Right. And w what they did was they decided, uh, the powers would be decided in around 1940 that they wanted to revise the constitution. And there was actually a, um, like a, a commission that did it. But uh, Metter himself, Ellie Metter himself, who is a professor at Drury, um, was instrumental in that commission and in fact got all kinds of kudos and things from you know the St. Louis Post Dispatch, Kansas City Star, etc., as one of the leading lights of the effort to revise the Constitution. So why was he so great? Ellie Metter was just—he uh, was an incredible person. He um, he grew up uh, in Cassville, Missouri, and he went to the University of Chicago uh, for his undergraduate. He went to Columbia University in New York for his graduate degree. Where any of your viewers know anything about Robert Moses, um, he was a uh, who was sort of the architect, the engineer of New York City. He was an office mate of, of Moses's. But then he wanted to come back here, and he came back here, and he was a professor at Drury um, for most, you know, uh, about half of the 20th century. Uh, he was a person who was instrumental in a number of things, not, not just the Missouri Constitution, but he also did, um, he was on the commission to uh, write the Springfield Charter. He was a beloved professor. He was um, on the commission that dammed the uh, White River to form Table Rock Lake. He really was a uh, an active citizen. He wasn't just a scholar, he was an active Which citizen. the public and public intellectual. Absolutely. Huh? And yeah. the, the interesting thing to me of all this is that he was extremely active uh, and instrumental in, in the life of not just Drury, but the community, and he was almost entirely blind. Uh, and that's, most the other, of that that's the other fascinating bit. And that wasn't something that he was born with. It, right. It, it happened over time. Over so time. Had, he had to adapt. He did. And, and one of the things, you know, we, from time to time, I'll get somebody who will come up uh, at one of the events that we have at the Metter Center at Drury, and they'll say, you know, I was uh, one of Dr. Metter's readers. Um, what he would do is he, you know, he, he wasn't completely blind, but he was blind enough that he had to have um, people read to him. So, you know, if somebody wrote out their exam, somebody would read it to him, and, and he'd grade it, or if there was a new uh, book or article that he needed to read, um, he'd have somebody read to him. We should work on getting something. Absolutely. Like that, 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 would be, us, right? <laughs> that would help a lot, I think. Yeah. Now, what does the Metter Center do in terms of programming? Well, the Metter Center does a number of different things. It's called the L.E. Metter Center for Politics and Citizenship. And we have uh, scholarships. Um, over the last two years, we've given out nearly $30,000 $30, in scholarships, um, everything from civic engagement, um, pre-law, um, research, and then there is a bigger one for um, political science majors uh, for study abroad, study away. So if somebody wants to go, you know, we've had students go to Rome, um, Washington, D.C., places like that. So we'll do that. There's a citizenship part that we're, we're really working on. Um, we have um, paired with a, a um, a grant with Grupo Latin Americano and Yolanda Lorge. Uh, and uh, so we're still working on, on, on doing that. And we also have a speaker series where we've had speakers such as Jeffrey Tubin, um, Rodney Hero, who was the former president of the American Political Science Association, Carl Bernstein of, uh, of Woodward and Bernstein fame, PJ O'Rourke, people like These that. These are heavy hitters, Dan. They are. They, they, we, we've been really lucky. Uh, there was an endowment established in 19. 1968, and it grew over the years, and it's allowed us to bring in some of these people. And we're really excited about uh, programming for this year. This is the 100th year of uh, commemorating female suffrage in the United States with the passage of the um, 19th Amendment. 
and um, we're going to lead off with Elaine Weiss, who is the author of the book um, The Woman's Hour, which is about sort of the last push through Tennessee, which allowed you know there to be the requisite number of states to actually get um, to, to to ratify the amendment. And so she'll be here on September 19th. We've got a few seconds left. Sure. You're also moving. We are. Physically moving to a nice new location. There'll be a nice building that those of you, those of your, uh, your watchers who are familiar with the Drury campus, um, there's the architecture building. There, in about two years, uh, there will probably be a building on the uh, parking lot just north of that, and it's going to house the Breach School of Business, the Department of Political Science, a lot of the centers, including the Medic Center. So we're really looking forward to that. Lots of really interesting stuff. Absolutely. And that speaker series is just tremendous. Yeah, it, it really is. It's uh, that, that that endowment has allowed us to bring in a lot of really interesting people, and we're looking forward to, to this year as well. Good stuff. Dan Ponder at Drury and the LE Metter Center.